You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Facts. But y'all, I want to say, um, Shine had pushed a couple buttons and shit. Kind of made me mad. I really had no intentions on battling him. I just wanted to get under his skin. Because I don't understand how you bite the hand that feeds you. That'll be the same hand to leave. All right, so if we're going to get into the Sean thing, let me go into the order that I wanted to go in. Can I do that? You can. I just kind of don't even want to really, like, talk too much about him because, like, I don't want to feel like I'm being a sucker to him. Like, that's my... I did enough corny shit on the Internet for the Internet because I had to do it on some... My pride, he coming at me. It's my little bro. I taught him everything he know, but the shit I didn't teach you either. But see, that's the... And this certain million. shit that can harm him, and guess what? I mean, I mean, I love, I want his career to go on. But that's the million-dollar question. Um, what will be said and what is being said is that you always say he's your little brother. But then there's, you know, it's like you say things when that makes people say that can't be his little brother if he's saying that. You do shit that attacking now. You might lay on your little brother pillow knowing he don't like it. We know Sean has a small person complex. Obviously, you can see that. So, me saying some shit like that is going to bother him. Because he ain't no sucker. Definitely not. He, he was raised by Dot, nigga. Yeah, see, you, you just rolling said, with some suckers. He has a small person complex, but you ain't no sucker. He ain't no sucker. But, but that kind of like... I got a small person not complex. That's, okay. It's just the not whole point is you're not going to talk to us a certain kind of way. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, when you know a nigga like I know him, I know we get under his skin. Okay, okay. Look at me in the battles. I'm saying, calm down, relax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Danny Meyer said some shit about my nephew. I just told him I'd knock him out. It ain't, it's, it's cool. I let, I let it go like that. That's the difference. It, 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 it's no teaching. You can't teach Shana to be relaxed. That's her. I was a I fan. She didn't even want to be down with Dot Mob. I begged her. I was a fan. Okay. <laughs> Real talk. Real talk. Like, what I'm saying is, like, we, ex we expand the culture. I'm not mad at him for going to do whatever he want to do. All that's cool, but there's a way you do it. Now, there's talks. I really had no intentions on battling him, but, uh, I mean, if he's... That shit was all for the, all for the internet to, to fuck around with him and piss him off. I like, still got to take a quote. From I still you. got a CD coming out though. <laughs> I don't know what's the name of it. I'm gonna take a quote from you. I might not quote it to the T verbatim, but uh, before me and Sean battle, we'll fist fight in the street. One that's of the when, hardest lines. I'm gonna tell you something though. That's when I was taking pay cuts. That's when we was going in the middle of St. Louis by ourselves. We was going to Vegas by ourselves. I don't know if tour. niggas remember. Go look back. Sean told Smack suck his dick. Smack said, if that was Rex or Mook, I could take that. Them the big dogs. But a new nigga talking to me like that, I can't take it. He can't come to URL no more. I said, take Daylight off the card. Take Tay Rock off the card. I ain't doing it. Calico like this. Stand for nothing, you fall for anything. That's the nigga that you talk about like that? He ain't never do nothing for you? When he was getting it on, his own family ain't fight with him. I did. He ain't do nothing for you. So I want to be honest, that shit hurt. Me and him wasn't on good terms, but when that shit happened with him and Chessing him, I was mic'd up, but I was outside. What happened? DNA and them niggas was under cars. These are the niggas you hanging with? You can't teach a nigga how to be a gangster. You can't teach a nigga how to be real. I just confused, like, what the, when the fuck did you... You flip. You been get child was a nigga that was hustling. You been you, you don't let this battle rap money shit do this. I don't understand. I don't think motherfuckers know how to differentiate a come up and a come down. A lot of niggas looked at it as a loss with clips. I didn't look at it as a loss. I looked at it as a reality check because I got a lot of these suckers from around me. A lot of niggas running with different crews that was supposed to be with us. I ain't gonna say their names, but they know what it is. Dick eaters. Mm. Q died, I just died, my nephew died that day. I ain't make no excuses. I'm fighting to get back where I'm at. Cause I know the, I know the remedy, I just gotta get back in tune with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm letting, niggas are shining, I'm letting niggas do them. They call me for some madness though. They calling me for those though. I threw the Danny Myers battle away because he said some slick shit about my nephew. You know what I'm saying? It's just like certain shit that you don't do. 
Beasley look out for me. I knew Beasley before Smack knew Beasley. How can I fuck up my friend's event that he's invested in, hitting Danny Myers or doing some dumb shit, when I know what can, can be said in battle rap? I can't stop the goons from doing nothing to him, though. But me being a professional and some shit that I built that was on the corner, Smack had a DVD, my nigga, with Jim Jones and Big Meech in the morning. He dropped all of that to come to the niggas on the back. So I ain't gonna fuck that up. This shit gonna keep going and that mob gonna still be on top. That mob you gotta have a good guy and a bad guy. You know, yeah. murder is real, murder real political. I don't give a fuck. Now, again, uh, I asked the million dollar question, but the other million dollar question is actually, are you really gonna battle uh, Sean? I have no intentions on battling Sean. I gained nothing battling Sean. See, when you say we a fist fight in the middle of the street, nigga, it's cause... I didn't say... No, 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 when you say that, when I said that, it's like, yo, bro, you tripping. If we get up on that stage, I don't know if I want to give him a five after that. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mook never wanted Shine down. Mook and Shine never got along. Mook said he thought Cassidy could beat him. Honest, ask Surf. We went to Jersey to go see Surf. I wasn't, I wasn't with it, cause me and Shine Bomb was different. But Mook used to say, "Yo, I see something," and I ain't know what he meant. I can't say what he, what it, what it really was. But he said, "That nigga wanna be you." That's, that's what the Mook words. That's my big cousin, so he looking out for me. He's seeing shit that I ain't seeing. You know what I'm saying? We set this shit up from the beginning after we, we first started getting paid for battle rap. We set that. Smack called me, I was getting some head. That's Mook, so niggas telling stories. We set that. Five round, three round battles, we set that. Smack go like this. We run this shit, let's be real, man. Let's not, let's not, be, let's not be fun, let's not play around here. So we, we can actually- These niggas ain't selling out no events, man. Beasley and them niggas call me, they know what's up. So that battle's not gonna happen. I can't say it because I don't it, I, I, I I never intended on battling Sean. Boy, I'm a hunt 12 street, no fair nigga. There's certain kind of ways you gonna talk to me. So it's not even about the bread. No, it's gonna cost. Of course, <laughs> of course, especially if it goes down. But you're not doing it for the bread. It's not about the bread. Yo, listen, that mom, nigga, we used to go at it in the house all the time, man. I'm not gonna sit here and say it. I got, not, I got more rhymes than all, I didn't think everybody, period. That's right. This nigga got a million dollars. Ask Mook, like, that's just. A million dollars. I was in the street going, in the street going, doing this. Destroying these niggas and Mook was sitting back, making the plot of it. That's why I call him what I call him. Like I say, I tell a nigga like, I'm the most relentless. How you ain't take a year off since 99? You know what I'm saying? They still mentioning you with these. I'm I'm gonna headline some of that. But I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say I'm gonna put my battle first. Whether it's Reed, whether it's You yeah. definitely on Summer Madness? There is no Summer Madness without me, man. I am Summer Madness. Can we say who you got? I don't know who I got yet. Okay. But those be my options. This is like Summer Madness, we need Rex there. What is it without me? I wanna ask you another question before I forget. Has anybody come to you and say, once once the whole thing broke about, or the surf phone call broke about you battling Sean, has anybody say, yo, you shouldn't do that? Mook didn't like it. But guess what? That's why he Mook and I'm me. You don't control what I'm doing, and I don't control what he's doing. I'm my, everybody know Rex. They know when Rex say, he gonna stand by it. So if you ain't gonna respect that, then I don't know what a nigga gonna respect. Well, I don't want y'all to battle. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> you know y'all my niggas, both of y'all, so. Um, hopefully it don't happen. I'm gonna say that. Um, Summer Madness 6 is definitely going down. And, and how long before we know who you're gonna battle? Um, I talk to Beasley every day, I don't know. I don't know, they was real pumped up about the shine shit, but when I saw people was really taking it that serious, I kind of was like, y'all could, 
y'all know me. Like, this is my little, my little bro, but the shit that's bothering me is he talking, feeling all dangerous out the beat. That's the shit that's bothering me, man. Got to play advocate. That's the shit that's bothering me. See, it bothered me, and Mook is like, man, that's our brother, man. You fucking bugging. Well, listen. But that's Mook persona to brush shit off. That ain't me. Is it fair to say he really hasn't said a lot since the whole, since the interview we did in Detroit? Like, Sean really hasn't responded, responded to the whole Dot Mob breakup. Is it safe to say, like, I don't watch the, blogs. I, 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 if I'm correct, I don't remember him actually doing it. Um, is it safe to say maybe now he's saying stuff now because of maybe certain things you said and maybe now he feels like he has to respond? Do you feel any of that? When Sometimes when you... Sometimes the best, the best answer is no answer. Niggas talk about Beyonce, she never addressed it and it goes under the rug. Niggas said, yo, Rex said, I'm not Mook. Mook looked at them niggas and said, I can't break this motherfucking ball, nigga. Are you serious? I don't know. Sometimes people just attend to, you know, and battles been coming out fast. When Smack was driving battles slow, it was a little more appreciated. Battles coming out fast, these niggas is forgetting. They ain't doing them two millions like we be doing. You know what I'm saying? You, some niggas will look at, uh, see yo, damn, that nigga fatigued, he, he finished, Rex finished. I was killing niggas in the era before Smack. I came and start killing niggas in that. I was the first headliner of the URL, I've been headlining ever since, all over the world, everywhere I go. I've never stumbled, fucked up nothing. And, and, uh, and again, if now, this is, will be again, I hate to say it. Your summer man is I could have brought again. I could have. I was on the phone with Farris and these guys. I could have brought paperwork out, but I got more respect for Clips as my friend. I didn't want to even take it all the way there, but I had to leak it because I'm a real Harlem nigga. And Harlem niggas is in the and niggas that's in the pen is writing me. Clips took more of a fall than that from me. Look at it. Lux took everything I did, and you know. You know what I'm saying? Well, see, that have to be. The did you same know? Thing. Did Lux? Did Lux know that? You have to think that the same way if you battle Sean. Like y'all know each other so well, it's like how much personal stuff would you have to put to the side because it would get really. I'm not a personal bad. rapper. Right. And niggas done said everything they could say about me. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes if somebody is closer to you than most, there's stuff that they know that other people don't know. So something like that could get really out of control. That's why I all say that, shit I'm gonna happens. tell you this. That, <laughs> all that shit would be is a lie. Thanks for calling that. And I'm cool with that. Niggas could differentiate real from fake. I ain't never I ain't never downgrade that nigga character. I actually took up for him my last blog, I think, right? I, what I said, he ain't no sucker. He said he was the old shine. He just did some sucker shit. How the fuck you running with niggas that could, that could ever? Like, how you, how you hanging with niggas we were supposed to shoot? Rock said it the best, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I be thinking, damn. Are you, at our, at our meetings, was you, you know what I'm saying? Certain shit Mook used to never want to say around. I never understood it. But sometimes another nigga got, got your best interests at hand and they can see other shit, but they want you to live it. My man Ugg said the same shit. But it's hard to say that when you with a nigga eight day. It's, it's drama trying to come with the slant. What up, nigga? How you go from that to that? That shit is bugged out. Confused my son. My son said, why Sean with those niggas? Shit hit me there. Like, serious? His daughter birthday on a, on a day of mine. You got to remember me for the rest of your life. God don't do, sh do shit like that for no reason. I didn't put Sean's dad up because I was mad. I put it up because I was hurt. So now I'm a ball with you. But now all that shit is over with. It's like, yo, that's my little brother. I ain't worried about that nigga, man. Because I'm who I am already. You, ain't, you know what I'm saying? It's hollows and surfs and them, and them kind of niggas out there. Right, I'm helping. 
Tyrese with shit like that. I'm, I'm doing other shit besides this here. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame. Radio. Let's go. 15 minutes of fame radio. Now stepping into 15 minutes of fame radio. Yeah.